uh, to travel now and we are talking about Waiheke Island. It's an internationally acclaimed destination producing world-class wine. But it didn't start off that way. Joining us in the Harvey Norman Lounge is author and wine connoisseur Claire Dunleavy. Good morning, Claire. Hello. So Good tell morning. Us, tell us a little bit about the history of wine, of wine making on Waiheke. Well, I guess the first premium wines were made by Kim and Jeanette Goldwater, who bought a block of land in 1977 and planted vines. And they, um, the next to plant was Stephen White, Stony Ridge, the famous La Rose wine, uh, followed by Peninsula Estate. And then in 88, my own family bought a block of land to plant a vineyard called Timotu. Dunleavy's. The I've Dunleavy's. met your nephew. Mm. He did a wine tasting for us for a group mm. of ladies, and we loved it. He's gorgeous. He is Sam. Very Sam gorgeous. Dunleavy. He was great. We were, we were going, yes, that's great. We'll have the box. That sounds perfect. Uh, so, relatively recently, only in the 70s, yes. we started growing on Waiheke. Yes, yeah. And yeah. tell me a little bit about the book. You've done this incredible book about the wineries uh, and the portraits are by Marty Friedlander. Yeah. Which is extraordinary because she is. passed away last year, one of New Zealand's best photographers. She did. She did. It was extraordinary. Um, I first met Marty when I was working uh, as sommelier at another Waiheke restaurant and vineyard, Tifo. And Marty and her husband Gerard used to come to Waiheke every year for a holiday in January. And um, I was doing my thing at work. Marty walked up to me and said, you have the most beautiful green eyes. Could I photograph them someday? Wow. And I was like, that's quite an honor. That's quite an honor. Yeah. So that's how we met. And we bumped into each other over time, um, over the years. I've worked in wine for over 20 years now. You've got it in your blood um, practically. I've got it in my <laughs> blood. But the same year that I met Marty, my partner Dennis gifted me a book called Wine Pioneers of New Zealand and this was Marty's first ever book of portrait photography in New Zealand. She was an immigrant. Uh, she saw us with fresh eyes, curious eyes. She was so interested in people well, the and she went and took uh, portraits of the people who built our wine industry uh, in the 60s. It was first published in 1964. Uh, and written by historian Dick Scott. So her first book was a wine book. She's got a real way with people, hasn't she? There's something about them that makes them quite special. So who did you? how did you choose the wineries that went into this book? Well, um, that was pretty easy, actually, because at the time uh, of uh, writing, or you know, when I asked Marty to take the portraits, and she actually said yes, um, that was it. Procrastination over. Whoever was producing wine for sale at the time they were in the book. And there was 26 of them or so? Yes. And tell me some of the, you must have learnt some fascinating stories, even though you've obviously grown up around the wine and Waikiki. You must have learnt some really crazy things when you're doing this. Yeah, 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 I did. Some people had some amazing stories. Um, Rachel Carter from Soho Wines, you know, when you see her photo in the book, not only is she beautiful. Oh, there she is. She Stunning. is, um, she is a brilliant businesswoman. And uh, she saw the opportunity for um, screw cap closure on wine bottles. And she started, she took over a business that was underperforming. She had no clients. Three years later, she had 75% of the market. And when she sold it to start Soho Wines, she had 97% of the market. And we love those screw tops now, that is for sure. So if we had a weekend on Waiheke, what would be a little itinerary, like a quick little itinerary you might recommend to us? Gosh, well, this is tough. it is tough because I would just say, if you love wine, if you love beaches, if you love food, if you love to get out of Auckland and not spend too much time doing so, you're guaranteed to have a great time on Waiheke. There's no duds really, is there? You could pick There's anything no and have a great There's time no at one of the wineries. You have a great time. And you'll learn lots of interesting facts as well. It looks beautiful. Uh, what a wonderful book and lovely and so nice that you had Marty Freeland. It must have been one of her It was extraordinary works. really because um, it wasn't till sort of 10 years later that, I, that the idea cemented in my brain and my partner said, who do you want to take the portraits? And I said, Marty. And he just said, well, ask her. Yeah, and, and I did. You don't ask, you don't get it. It's a stunning exactly. book. Waikiki Island, a world of wine. The people behind the labels, it's always fascinating. Thank you so much, Claire. You're welcome. I really enjoyed that.